welcome back to the walkthrough. We're heading into the casino, Casinoopolis, or Casinopolis Stage 3. The camera is not messing up for some reason. I don't know why. Why do you mess with me, camera? Anyway, to get the Chaos Emerald, you need to get 600 rings, if I'm not mistaken. Or is, or is it 400 rings? Oh, don't... I'm gonna go check that out real quick here. Um, I'm looking for the bank. Uh, that is right here. Uh, uh, no, wait, this is the restroom, actually. Pardon me. Yeah, you can check out the restroom if you want to. I was going to show that later anyway, but, uh, yeah, there's a, a door to get to the restroom. Who knew that there would be a restroom in a Sonic game? What, oh, here it is. What am I being a noobish noobsicle for? Ah, dang you, camera. And, uh, and how many rings do you need? I got one ring. It'll shake it out of me. And, uh, I don't remember how many rings I'm supposed to get. Anyway, uh, well, this area is basically like a big mini game pinball area. Um, there's a shower room. I'm looking for not that one, not the card and pinball. That one, uh, that one I'll do last, but the slot and pinball I'll do first here. This one in the blue area. Um, it's a big pinball area. Who would have guessed? Um, you can control the flippers with the L and R buttons individually. L for the left flipper, R for the right flipper, or press the A button to do them both at the same time. Um, as you... Hey, hey, hit the flippers. I want to go up the center. There we go. When you go up the center, you get the chance to stop these things and uh, get rings like so. Um, there's different prizes depending on which character combination you get or whatever. Um, if you don't come out of here with more than 100 rings, uh, you go to the sewer area, which is what I'm going to show you right now. I'm just going to let myself die here. There's only, like, three balls, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm, it's not actually a death, but it's, uh, you just get transported to another area uh, as punishment for your uh, failure, so to speak. And that's basically all there is to this table. You can also get uh, rings by going up those left, that left chute. I should say going up the right chute and coming back down the left chute. And then, ah, camera. And then uh, lighting up all the lights on the left side. There's a lot of little Easter eggs on the pinball area. But uh, if you don't get 100 rings, as I said, you end up in this area. Um, there, this area is actually a pretty nice jackpot full of rings. Um, if you ever get a bomb power up like that, um, you can destroy all the enemies that are on screen. Um, that's basically all there is to that. And to get up that a lot faster and easier, you should probably just, like, spin. And this is a, a trashy area, I should say. So this is great for the hookers. And try and get through this little area right here. And you'll automatically start getting sucked right through here right away. I don't know why I'm even showing... Well, I guess this area is pretty good for getting rings, so I might as well show it off. And, oh, there's rings there. I missed them. Dang it. Um, try and get as many ring bubbles as you can, or I should say ring capsules as you can you know, on your way up. And try to get uh, down these side paths that you can. They usually contain more rings. Uh, I don't like you, spiky thingy. I don't, oh, no, I lost all the rings. Poopers. That was terrible. Well, that was kind of a waste then since I lost... Ah, since I lost all the rings. And, uh, anyway, I'm going to go up here, which is the way out, and... What the heck? Oh, Sonic just shook himself off there. That was kind of weird. And climb up the ladder to get out of here. And now you end up in the, um, shower room. <laughs> And now what I'm gonna get going to do is go to the knight's table, which is the best table to do, to go to if you would like to collect rings fast. Even faster than the sewer, providing you don't take a hit like I did. I don't usually take hits in the sewer area, but then again, I haven't played this in a while, so whatever. Um, this is the knight's table, uh, as you can see by the center there. Um, what you want to do here is collect cards. Um, you, you see those three things off to the side there? Like, there's one in the middle right there. I just collected a card. It'll appear at the bottom right corner of the screen. I should say the right side of the screen. If you collect a certain combination of cards and a certain amount of cards, I should say... Ah! Yeah, no! Not on the side shoot, dang it! Um, you basically want to collect pairs and, like, full houses and stuff like that of cards. It's, it's all pretty self-explanatory if you know card games and stuff like that. And... So, just 
try and make pairs if you can. I'll oh, shoot. I'm not very good at aiming myself in these pinball games, but eh, what are you gonna do? But what you really want to do is try and get to the second table. There, yeah, there's a second secret table to this uh, area here, and the second table is where the secrets are. Uh, not the secrets are at. Uh, it's where the bonuses are at. And as you've seen, when I got that one pair there, I opened up that er that uh, panel off to the back. So I'm gonna try and get up there if I can. And ah, oh, did not. There we go. Well, that works. Now this is where the money is at here. Look at all those cards. Look at them. There is so many of them. And ah, oh, I lost that. It takes forever to get back to get back to that table too. Anyway, I'm at 164 rings. So uh, whenever, as I said, you get to 100 rings, you don't have to get worried about getting shot back over to that sewer area. Um, just that whenever you run out of balls. What you should do is go deposit your money into the bank, or I should say your rings into the bank, because, um, you might, uh, no, wait, no, I guess it's, a, no, you won't lose them, what am I thinking of, oh, whatever, I was thinking you could, you could lose them for some reason when you get, uh, uh, back to a table, I don't know why I thought that, oh, no, 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 Oh, I forgot to mention, there's other ways to get rings as well. Like, see these slot machines in the main main area? Just hit them, and, uh, yeah, some rings will pop out of them, like so. Alright, I think I have enough rings right now. I'm coming up to 15 minutes. Uh, why does this take so long? I don't like this stage whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty full right now. I've got over 300 rings, so let it, let it shake me one more time. And I should be able to get that uh, emerald right up there. I think it takes 400 to get up there. Yep, there we go. So there you go. 400 rings it takes to get up there. And ah, 15 minutes. The pain, the torture. Yeah, not bad. Ah, so boring. I hope I never have to do that one again. And I probably will because I'll probably play through this game like five more times. Because I'm obviously masochistic or something like that. That want to play through this game because of that stage once again. Ah! Actually, this game is very good. I just don't like that stage whatsoever. So, yeah, we're done with the casino, thank God. And a little cutscene will happen here. This is where we meet Amy. Or at least I think... No, wait, no, 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 not Amy. Pardon me. Oh, no! Knockout gas! Oh, that was mean of him. That's cheating. I never use knockout gas on Eggman. Anyway, now we come to at the station square right in front of Casinopolis. And somehow we fell asleep sitting up. I don't know how that worked. What happened to that emerald we just had? Eggman, talk good. Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them. But the other one's safe. Yeah. That guy must be desperate. Obviously. That his two to R1, and that's not good. Come eh, on, there's four more to find. We'll be just fine. Oh yeah, we're gonna get busy. Let's find some chicks. Anyway, uh, let's go right through here, and into this alleyway, you'll find this little thing right here. It is the Ice Stone. Grab it and take it back to the train, the train station, which is right up here. Ah! Dang it! Ah, I got stuck on an invisible wall again. And go inside, and wait for us to go back to the Mystic Ruins. At least the camera focuses fairly good on these little uh, loading Mystic Ruin cutscenes, or Station Square cutscenes. And this wall opens up! This was the other wall that I was thinking of when I was talking about the wall getting uh, broke apart. Like, it, I think it was part two. Yeah, it was part two. Whatever. And, well, uh, camera, I would like you to turn around so I can see what I am doing. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, there we go. You can change your camera with the control stick, but it doesn't work very well. So anyway, go in here. There's another gust of wind here. Just go right on up, and you're going to come to a very icy area. Ooh, what is this? Oh, for the love of God, Sonic, stop getting stuck on nothing. As you can see, there's a pedestal, the key floats, you know how this works. The door will open, and you go inside. Ooh, pretty ice. And there's some very cold water down here. 
uh, even though it doesn't seem to cause hypothermia whatsoever at all, so don't even worry about it. Just jump out when you're ready to, and you can jump out easily. Climb up the ladder, and we'll go to the ice cap zone. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have enough time to do it in this part. Uh, so if we don't, I mean if I don't, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next part. Um, what you can do here is just dash yourself out over to here. Now there's a nice little shortcut you can do. You can either go up here and take the normal way up and go like go through there, uh, or you can take a tremendous shortcut by going down to here, and walking off this edge. See a number panel? You try and jump off it, and you'll be able to start a sequence, which will take you a massive shortcut up ahead to this area here. You're not even supposed to do that until later, so. Let's just go and take the normal path for the heck of it. Um, normal path, you're supposed to climb all the way up to the top. Whoa, shoot. I forgot how uh, quick Sonic climbs. I'm used to Mario's ultra slow, slow climbing from Galaxy. Anyway, and... Woo, woo. Yeah, you gotta kind of jump across those ice cones like that. Um, it takes a little longer to go to the top this way. Yeah. And that, that was the shortcut that I would have taken right there. I would have gotten over to this spot right here. And... Or maybe I took the shortcut. Oh, no, wait, I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> um, okay, where... Oh, pardon me. It's this thing right here. This spring old dingo here. And spring here. And jump. Jump. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. Actually, that was faster than uh, jumping across these icicles. So maybe I'll just take that route when I want to. When I want to go across here. And uh, just keep going up. Keep going up as far as you can. That's the way out. Otherwise, you're going to be trapped in this ice cave forever. And you don't want that to happen. And I'm just going to let myself fall down. Oh, no, I can't, I can't do it over here. Dang it. And I don't know why there's spikes over there. It makes no sense. But part, they're partially frozen inside the uh, ceiling there. Oh, dang it. It's, it's kind of hard to get the perspective down on where you're going to jump off with the angle. Uh, it, it's just kind of hard to tell. Sometimes you can get, I can get the hang of it, and sometimes I, I can't. It's, it's just a field thing. Careful not to fall off, as they said here. Otherwise, you're going to have to start from the beginning, and you don't want that to happen now, do you? Unless you want to see me fail. And I know the jumping panel thing, and when you touch the middle panel there, a giant icicle will pop, fall down from the ceiling, and you'll be able to jump forward on top of it, and and through it, and now a snowboard sequence will start just by uh, breaking through here. Oh no, an avalanche! There happens to be a snowboard right there. It's amazing! It's uh, how, how is that possible? Anyway, this is like the worst camera angle ever because you can't see what the heck you're doing. You can't see forward. It's just tremendous pain all over the place because you're hitting icicles or say ice you're breaking through it you can't see where the rings are you can't collect them unless you know where they are in advance by memorization so just forget about this area and wait for the camera to float around and now you'll be able to go through this place like a normal snowboarding game why is it not like this to begin with i don't know i guess they wanted to make it more dramatic with that avalanche so anyway, now we're snowboarding, we can break through the ice if we want to just by ramming right into it. We can jump with the A button. Who would have guessed the A button would be used for jumping? I know, it's like it's never been used for as a jump button in a platformer before. Anyway, and whenever you see those colored ramps like that, press the, ju the jump button as, as close to the edge as you possibly can, and you'll get a major speed boost, and you'll be able to fly pretty far, and woo! Yeah, that, that's how you can go faster on this uh, area, basically. And jump! Woo! Go, Sonic, go! And this is some awfully jazzy music for a snowboarding part, I have to say. Ah! And, oh, there was a shortcut over there. Dang it. I wanted to try to get that shortcut. But uh, uh, you can break through the ice over there to get to that shortcut. And you end up going down here. So there's not much really to commentate about on a snowboard. I mean, seriously. That's all I can think of right now. I mean, I mean come on. There's, it's snowboarding. Haven't you ever played a snowboarding game before? It's basic. It's simple. You just jump and use control stick to move. That's all. And I could have taken that upper path there if I would have taken the ramps, but I made a little mistake there, so I'm going to have to take the lower route. The Chaos Emerald is coming up right now, so here she is. Yeah. That's the end of the stage, and I think that's also the end of this part. So I'll see you guys in the next part.